Hey guys, it's your girl True TTJ and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be a story time video where I sit here and tell you guys a story time about something that happened to me in my lifetime. It's a story time. And I want to tell you guys, okay? Period. And I was just sitting here thinking, well not sitting here, I was actually moving around. I was just like trying to figure out what story time I want to tell you guys. And I really want to tell you guys the story time. I figured out, I came to a conclusion on what I want to tell you guys. I got it. It's here, okay? It's here. I'm queer, and let's get into the story time, period. But hey, if you're new here, hey girl, hey, thank you guys for joining and watching my um, video. If you have, if you've been here before, then welcome back. <laughs> if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe, like, share, thumbs this video up, and also leave me a comment below. Um, yeah, and also tell a friend who knows a friend who knows somebody who knows somebody that y'all like me, true TTJ, and y'all watch me. Period. That's all I want y'all to do. Period. <laughs> but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay. So this particular story time happened to me a while ago. Um, so this isn't going to be a very long story time because it really doesn't have that many different parts to it. But I'm just going to tell you guys the fucked up thing that happened to me or whatever like that. And I'm going to let you guys decide whether or not I should blame this bitch or don't blame this bitch. I mean, it's been a while, so I really I'm not tripping by you know what I'm saying it was it's lost or whatever. So I'm just like right now how I feel. It is what it is. It happened, but I just want to tell you guys what happened, and then you guys can make your own little decision on this story time, however you choose to be, whatever. So one day I was at work, and I was really cool with this girl that worked at this particular um, doctor's office I was working at. She was the MA. I was the phlebotomist there. So, like y'all know, I don't use the name up in my um, videos. Well, sometimes I do. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop saying I don't use the name because sometimes I be using people's real names. But most of the time, I don't use real names. So, we're going to call this bitch Giraffe. No, I love Giraffes. We can't call her Giraffes. We're going to call her Krusty. Okay? So, Krusty is the MA that I work with at this doctor office or whatever like that. So, me and her was really, really cool. So, one day, I'm at work or whatever like that. And I'm trying to find some, some um, hair... Because I was about to go on my trip to Hawaii and I really wanted to find me some weave. You know, some really good um, hair to um, get my hair done with or whatever like that. So, um, I didn't want to spend too much, but I didn't want to spend nothing. Like, my, my max was like 400 or whatever like that. But, you know, if you could save a dollar, baby, you're going to save that dollar. Period. And that's what's me. Like, I'm already about to get to go to Hawaii. So, I was just like, you know what? I need to try to save a dollar or two or three or four hundred or whatever. So, um, I had asked, uh, what I named her again? I forgot what I named her. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to start this name over again. We're just going to start this name over again. I'm going to call her Sierra. Okay, so Sierra, <laughs> y'all probably like, damn, I'm confused as fuck. Okay, okay, so I know y'all probably confused. So, we're just going to rewind this. So, Sierra is the girl that I work with, the M.A. That's going to be her name, Okay. Sierra Sucky, and um, me and her worked together at the doctor office. Now, I was looking for some hair because I was about to go on my trip to Hawaii soon, and I wanted to have, I wanted to make me a wig. That way, when I didn't want to wear, like, my hair, my real hair, you know, I can always just throw on my wig, and I didn't have to sleep in or whatever like that. In the case we got into, like, because we were supposed to do, like, excursions and stuff like that when I was in, um... Hawaii, so a lot of things that involves water, and I can't really swim, and plus, A, I didn't want to just ruin my hair and not be able to, like, go out to dinner or still look nice or whatever like that, so I just thought that I'll just make me a wig or whatever like that <clears throat> and just bring the wig on for, like, you know, events like that for, like, dinner and stuff like that, so I was on a, on a hunt for, like, some really good hair. Like I said, like, my max price at the time for the hair was, like, $400, but I just could not find no hair that will come to me you know, at a decent time or whatever. So, um, Sierra the Stank, or oh, whatever, her name probably won't change the line. But right now her name is Sierra. So Sierra the Stank, the MA that I work with, she hit me up about this girl um, that she knew that didn't stay that far from us. Like, we stay on the north side of Houston, and this girl, she stayed, like, on the south side of Houston, like, sunny side. So if you're from H-Town, you know what sunny side is. So she stayed, like, over there or whatever. So, she knew this girl who sell bundles for, like, a living or whatever. Like, she had her own little uh, company where she um, sell wholesale bundles or whatever. 
And so me not thinking and me being trusting of Sierra dumbass, I was just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, cool. Like the like Sierra the MA, she was just like hop, hyping the bitch up. She was like, Oh yeah, she got good hair. She you know what I'm saying, she reliable, like I've been fucking with her for a while. Like I, I didn't have brought half from her before, or whatever like that. Like she basically making me feel comfortable and I did. I was just and I had no reason not to trust Sierra, you know what I'm saying? I had no reason not to trust this bitch. So I was just like, Okay, maybe you know what I'm saying, I just I didn't honestly have no reason not to trust this hoe. So I just trusted this bitch, which was my fault. I should never did that, but I did that. So came time to buy the hair or whatever like that. So I'm talking on the phone to the girl who sells the hair. Um, We're going to call her Scammy. I'm talking on the phone to Scammy or whatever like that. And um, she's sending me pictures. She's sending me clients um, who used her hair or whatever like that. She's sending me herself. No, she didn't send me herself. She sent me pictures of clients and stuff like that. She's sending me videos of like her holding the bundles in her hand or whatever like that. But she, it's not catching on to me that in none of these videos that she's showing her face, nor does she have like a website where she sell these bundles. You know what I'm saying? But I was young and I was naive and I didn't know. I should have known, but I know now. But yeah, none of these videos was like, she had her face in none of these videos. So I, I really don't even know what this girl looked like to this day. Like this bitch can walk past me at Walmart or Target. And I wouldn't know. This hoe could walk past me in my apartment complex. And I probably wouldn't even fucking know who she is. Like, that's on period. And so, um, when I was saying, yeah, like, so we was just talking, 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 talking. And so, I was at work when I was talking to Scammy, um, the girl who sell the bundles or whatever like that. And so, I did find it kind of odd that she wanted me to send her a money order. And I was just like, no. Like, why do I have to send you a money order if you just stay on the south side of Houston? Baby, I could just come out there and buy the bundle at hand. Like, I ain't got to sit here and send you no money order. I can just drive out there and get the hair. But she was telling me that she has to order the hair. Like, she didn't have any more in stock and that she was waiting for her to come in stock or whatever like that. And she said that, you know, I had to put down a deposit and blah, blah, blah in the third. But I was just thinking to myself, like, why I got to put down a deposit if you told me that the whole price was $200 for three bundles? So I was just like, so why do I have to put down a deposit? So I went back and I asked um, Sierra, the MA, I asked her wretched ass. I was just like, bitch, um, she trying to make me put down a deposit and I really don't want to put down a deposit. Like, she's trying to make me send a money order to her. Like, I really don't want to send a money order. Like, why do I have to send a money order if she is in Houston and she stay on the south side of Houston? Like, I have a car. Like, I can just drive and go get the hair or whatever. But the girl was very adamant about sending the money order. And then Sierra, the MA, she was just like, oh, no, that's how I pay for it all the time. Like, she has to have the money so she can buy the hair, I guess. She was just like, I don't know, um why but that's just how she is like she has to buy the hair from vendor and if she whatever vendor she buy from she get it at like a discounted price or whatever and once the hair come in then you can go and get the hair and i was just like okay and like i said you guys i had no reason not to trust the air like me and her was cool like me and her was really cool like I even lived with her a part of the time because my lease was up in my apartment and I didn't want to be there to re-sign my lease. So I wanted to dip out. She, um, I, I couldn't find an apartment that I actually liked. So I really didn't have no place to stay. And so she offered me to stay with her. So while my stuff was in storage, you know, I was staying with her for like a month or so like that. And then I ended up getting my own place because I just don't like staying with people that much. But yeah, like me and her became like really, really cool. Like... When, you know, my car broke down, I used to stay at her house so I could have rides to work until um, my sister boyfriend was able to fix my car. It was just, it, it, she was just real cool. So I really did not feel like I did not trust Sierra. Like, me and her was cool at work and was cool outside of work. Like, you know what I'm saying? We'll hang and all that shit. Like, it was just like, she was really, really cool. So I just didn't have no reason not to trust her, but... That's probably why I don't really have friends like that now, okay? I, I, that's probably why. Because I be trying to put my faith and trust in these bitches. And they, 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 they look nice for a while. And then afterwards, they just turn into to, to dirt. And that's just, that's just on period. That's just how I feel like. They look nice for a while, and then they end up turning into dirt. And the next thing you know, I just don't know what to do. So, whatever. So... Sierra was just like giving me the green light to like go ahead and purchase the hair. Like you ain't got nothing to worry about. Like she legit, she did, she that, or whatever. This, that, and the third, or whatever. Okay, cool. So, 
against my best judgment, I decided to go ahead and send this hoe $200 in the money order. Now, if you guys are familiar with money orders, money orders cannot be traced. Once you send that money order out and that person goes to their, uh, their, their, their Walmart and pick it up, that's it. They're not going to ask that person for no no kind of identification. Um, they're not going to ask them for no no address. They're not going to ask them for none of that. The only thing they're going to ask them for is the little number that they give you for the other Walmart to confirm that this is you who um, the other person is sending the money to. So it's it's really not... Basically what I'm saying is really not a paper trail when it comes to sending like money orders or whatever like that. It's, it's really not a paper trail. Once it's paid and, and, and it's collected by the second party... It's, it's a wrap from there. So, yeah. So, once I got her the hair, like, me and her was texting back and forth. And she was saying, oh, yeah, your hair going to come in within a week or whatever like that. So, you know, after that, then I'll let you come and come get the hair. I was like, okay, cool. That sounds good. So, um, a week passed. I texted her again. Oh, they said it was on back order or whatever like that. I'll let you know when the hair come in. Okay, cool. Another week passed. Then another week passed. Then another week passed. Then another week. Girl, it was just so many weeks passed. And I really don't even know how many weeks passed. But at this time, now, it's a lot of weeks that passed. A lot of years, too. But, yeah, I was just like, girl, what the fuck? So, I'm going back to Sierra, the MA that I work with. I'm just trying to tell her, like, hey, girl, like, I haven't got in touch with this girl. Like, at this point, when I went back to Sierra, like, now, oh, girl done block me. She done block me. She done not call. She not answering my phone call. She not returning my text message. She not doing none of the third. Like, this bitch done stole my money. This bitch done stole my money. And I was trying to serve her these hands. But she didn't want to answer the phone and she didn't block me. And I didn't know where she stayed at. And this is what Sierra come in and MA. This is why I feel like I should never trust this stupid ass bitch. Because I feel like she had something to do with it. I don't know. I just feel like she had something to do with it. Because now, back then, I was just like, you know, she hyped it all up. She hyped it all up or whatever like that. Made me feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to be your friend or whatever, and you sit here and you try to play me like that. I felt like she had something to do with it, but I just couldn't confirm it. So instead of me trying to fight Sierra, I wanted to fight the girl because I'm just like, girl, you, you, you who my problem with, like you who my beef is with. I, I, I really don't know if this bitch has something to do with it, so I really don't know. But I, sh I should have tried to fight both of them. To be honest with you, I should have tried to, I should have squared up with both of them because y'all both played a part in it. Sierra, your dumb ass trying to pipe me up to go get the hair. You did a good job. I went and I trusted you and I trusted this girl. And y'all both called me out of $200. Yeah, but girl, I used to take Sierra's phone and I used to like try to call the girl. The girl would answer the phone and then I will just tell her who I am and, she, and go off. And she would just hang up the phone in my face. And then I was like texting her from like... You know, different chicks numbers that I was talking to trying to get in contact with this girl or whatever like that. And the girl would text back or whatever like that. But at this time, I wasn't even trying to get my money back. What I was trying to do was see you in these streets, baby. I was trying to just run you over with my car or stab you with a couple of things. Like, that's what I wanted to do. Like, I was on that type of energy because I didn't give you months to get my money back. So, by the second month, I was just like, you know what? She's not really trying to fight. She must really needed that money. You know what I'm saying? She 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 must really need that money. She probably one of them ghetto ass project pet ass girls who be out here scamming. Cause she just scammed me. So she just needed that two hundred dollars and baby, you're not a good scammer if all you can scam somebody is two hundred dollars. You need to find a job. Or you need to have some more kids and get on government assistance because that's all you pretty much worth is a good fuck and a couple of hundred dollars. So yeah. So, yeah, this bitch scammed me out of my money, bro. I feel like now I really don't care about it. I'm not really just pressed about it no more. It was just $200, baby. Ugh. You can have it. <laughs> if you needed that $200 that bad, baby, you can have it. I'm, I, I hope it was well-deserved. That's all I can say. I hope it was well-deserved. But, yeah, that's how this girl scammed me. And I really think my coworker had set me up, too. I really think she had a big part to play in it. But I really don't know for sure. But... Long story short, I'm not friends with neither one of them. I was never friends with the girl who brought my, who I brought the hair from, who I, what I tried to brought the hair from. And I was never really friends with, 
I mean, I'm not friends with Sierra like that either more. After this situation, of course, Sierra was like apologetic and, you know what I'm saying, she felt bad for it. But I think it was all a facade. I really think that she don't feel bad for it. I really think she got what she deserved. I mean, I really think she tried to play me. I really don't know. I really don't know why she wanted to do it. I really don't know her motives. And at the end of the day, I really don't care. Um, Like I said, we no longer friends. We was friends on Facebook, but we ain't friends on no more on Facebook, I guess. So, baby, look, once you, once you try to burn me like that, baby, ain't no friendship coming back for me. Like, it's a wrap. Like, ain't no kumbaya and ain't no um, working it out and getting through it together like some soul sisters, baby. I don't want to be your friend, okay? Once you cross me like that, ain't no point of return. Like, come on, y'all. I'm a Capricorn, baby. Once you, once you, once you burn that bridge with a Capricorn, baby, you might as well just let it go. Just let it go because it ain't it, it ain't gonna never be the same. It ain't gonna never be the same. And if we ever do decide to like give y'all a second chance, best believe we on some type of revenge shit, or we just gonna try to fucking play y'all like for real. We gonna try to play y'all like. I mean, I'm not like that. <laughs> Other Capricorns are like that. I'm not like that. Like probably so. I probably. Am. Because, but that's how I got scammed by this ratchet ass, dirty ass, dusty ass, crusty ass, stanky ass, trail ass, section eight looking ass, food stamp looking. Let me stop hating on food stamp, baby. Because if I get on food stamp and section eight, I'd probably be happy to. But this stupid ass bitch ass girl, okay. And I hope she get what she deserve. I hope she got beat up or something like that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I know this video is probably a little short. Probably, I don't know. It probably is a little short. But yeah, but go ahead and you know what to do. Subscribe, like, share, thumbs this video up. And come on back for the next video. Bye.